Good morning. What do you think it would happen if there was no government and people would have to take responsibility for their own lives? They can't wait for directions and orders. What would happen, do you think? You know, I think we should have one guy in the government, just one. And that guy's got one job only, and that is to stare at people. <laughs> when, when people come in with their problems, asking questions about what to do and how to live their lives, you know. That guy in the government, we can call him the starer minister or something, you know. And he could just stare at them. And they will wait for an answer and they get no answer, right? No directions. And they wander off into life and they have to, to take care of it themselves. I think it's a good idea. What do you think? No, I, I got a bit tired this morning. I was, I was listening to the health minister here in Sweden. And he talked about the Marburg virus, right? This is the new one, I think. Yeah. So, I don't know, 11 people died somewhere in Africa, you see. Now this guy is there talking about it. He says, you know, this is now a serious virus. So now we can uh, do things, you see. The, we can lock you up in a box, something. Or maybe tired. And then there was another clip, and it may be tired again. This, I think this was from England. There was a queue of people, a line of people, right? Standing in line, you see, uh, out of, from a chemist. And there's this lady with a camera walking up to the line and asking, so what's this line for? Or queue. What, you say Q in England, do you? Line, I think, in the United States. So they, she walked up to the end of the queue and um, asked, so what's this queue for? And she, this guy says, well, it's, it's the COVID needle. You know, it's the last one. We're getting it now. Made me tired. Yesterday I had a good laugh. And this... Do you read the comments sometimes? You see, sometimes in the comment section you will see really tough guys. They are anonymous, remember, right? Nobody knows who they are, but they are tough. They complain about this that, and that person, you see. And I noticed something. Uh, when I tell them something, when I say something to them, which I do, you know, sometimes I call them names, I call them wankers or something, right? They get very, very upset. Some of them, right? Really tough guys, you know? So they are there in the comment section, anonymous, complaining, right? And then when they get something from me, they get very upset. Well, that's pretty special, isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, they don't, want, they don't want this, you see? And, you know, some of them get shocked because I tell them to sort off. You know, they expect me to suck up to them, you see? Yeah, I care about viewers. I really care. No, I don't. I don't care about it. You know, I have this channel, and I use this channel to say what I want, you see. That's the only reason I have the channel. So if I see an idiot, I will call him an idiot. You know? doesn't matter if he's a subscriber. And they are shocked about this. They are, I don't think they are used to it, you see. They are on other channels, maybe, and they think, yeah, this guy will will uh, suck up to me, you know. I can say whatever I want, and this guy will say nothing. See? I don't think they are used to this. So I think this is pretty funny. I had a very good laugh about this. There was one guy, he was so 
He was so upset and angry about what I told him. Right, so that was good. That's all. Be good. <laughs>